Okay, in this example, uh, we're given um, a scatter plot um, of a table of data pairs and um, a regression line um, that um, is drawn to fit that um, scatter plot. And we want to use the regression line to predict uh, the value of y uh, when x is 5.5 and then also when x is 9. Um, so you can see now why the regression line, that's the line drawn in red here, of course, uh, is useful uh, to help us uh, make predictions uh, because we don't have a point uh, in our uh, uh, scatter plot, uh, or in other words, we don't have a point, um, uh, a data pair uh, in our table of data values from which the scatter plot was drawn uh, with an x coordinate of a 5.5 uh, or an x coordinate of uh, 9. Uh, so if we're going to uh, predict uh, or determine the value of y when x is 5.5 or x is 9, we're going to need some mechanism uh, to make that prediction or make that determination. And that's uh, where the regression line um, is useful. All right, so let's start now by uh, predicting the value of y when x is uh, 5.5. Um, so this is very straightforward. Um, all we have to do, of course, is find uh, 5.5 on the x-axis. And then, um, in this case, go up until we uh, hit the regression line. Uh, so notice we're not going to hit the scatter plot. We're going to hit the regression line, however. And the corresponding y value uh, when x is 5.5 uh, is 3. Uh, so we can um, uh, predict uh, that uh, y is going to be equal 3, uh, or approximately 3, um, when uh, x is equal to uh, 5.5. Uh, now, this uh, sort of uh, prediction is called an interpolation uh, because uh, that uh, x value 5.5 um, is between uh, two of the um, x values uh, that do appear in the scatter plot, or, or two x values that do appear as x coordinates in the scatter plot, uh, namely 5 and uh, 6. Uh, but x equal 5.5 itself is not an x coordinate in the scatter plot. All right, now let's uh, try an extrapolation. Uh, this is a prediction uh, where we uh, try to determine the value for y uh, for an x value that is beyond uh, the maximum value um, uh, in our uh, the maximum x value uh, in our scatter plot, or uh, conversely below the minimum x value uh, in our scatter plot. But in this case, uh, we're uh, trying to make a, make a prediction for x um, uh, that's beyond the maximum value. Um, of the x coordinates in our scatter plot. And that's, we want to predict the value of y when x is 9. So we go through exactly the same uh, procedure. Um, we just find x on the um, uh, 9 on the x axis and simply go up until we hit our regression line. So again, we're not going to hit the scatter plot, uh, but we hit the regression line and uh, we find the matching y value there, which is uh, 1. So we can predict or estimate that y is going to be 1 uh, when. Um, x equals uh, 9. So again, this uh, is referred to as an interpolation prediction. Let me write that out. And um, the second uh, prediction is called um, an extrapolation.